Okay. I'm not a guy in the Friday side. So. It's okay. You, you are a tremendous supporter of the Air Force Expo, correct? I've been for a long time. It's a great event. And we're going to make it better every year. And it's a pleasure to be here, our first time at the Hermes Expo. Thank you. Okay, from the IMCC, the new director. Sir, please introduce yourself to the crowd. My name is Tony Pantosopoulos. I'm the newly appointed chairperson for the Greater Philadelphia Virginia of the International Orthodox Christian Charities. We are a humanitarian uh, organization that has worked in 38 countries in the world, including the U.S. And currently, we're making a major effort in Greece. I want to introduce the director of the and thank you. We invite you to come by our booth. We don't like being in Greece right now, but we're doing a lot of food distribution and we're supplying a lot of medical aid. We need your support. We are here in the booth. Please come over and see us. International Work Plus Christian Charities. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Well, Jakos, the Greek American candidate for the U.S. Senate from the state of New Jersey. Welcome. I just wanted to add that it's very important that Greek Americans get together and to hear a lot of the speakers talking about what's going on with Greece and America. This is where we build, we, we build strong bridges. So everyone speaking here today who is so into the country of Greece and cares about Greece, we have to do these things together. So this is, this is wonderful that Greek Americans have given us. Please visit my booth. My son Andrea is actually here. So he's a teenager, 17, just got his license, so <laughs> please say hello to him and check me out. I am at www.diakos2012.com. Thank you very much. Give the microphone to uh, Stella Corbolia. Stella, Irving's Expo, what do you think? I think that this is something that should continue and we should really congratulate Paul for having the energy to continue even in difficult times, bravo Paul. To all of you, I want you to know that all the teachers who are here today and the teachers who are not here, they appreciate what you're doing because as John said before, the teachers try all through the years to really save the image of Greece and the other ambassadors always to continue to talk about, to save the history of the culture and the language and perpetuate this great culture that is the Greek culture. Bravo, Paul. Thank you. Thank you to you as chairman and to everyone who's here. Thanks to all of you and I wish you all the best. And uh, please do network with our exhibitors and sponsors, visit all the booths and talk. Open the dialogue. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes. My name is George Maragos. I'm the Nassau County Controller. And, and I'm the U.S. candidate for the United States candidate from the great state of New York. And, and I'm here as a Greek American to congratulate the great work that Hermes Expo is doing. And Greece's comeback is going to start from right here. Thank you. And this is from the American Hellenic Institute. Nick Laragakis, it's a pleasure, sir, to have you here with us. It's always a pleasure to be here. The American Atlantic Institute is proud to be associated with the Hermes Expo International for 21 years. I take this opportunity to congratulate Paul Georges and his vision of bringing the New York community together in business and in this moment where it's truly important to be able to bring Greece and the United States together regarding these difficult economic times. This has an added dimension and I congratulate you for persevering all these years. And I'd just like to remind everybody that we're going to be showing our, our PBS documentary, Cypher Still Divided, at 2 o'clock in Diamond A. It's a great pleasure to be here. Congratulations again, Paul. Many, many more years, and we are honored to be associated with you. I want all of our sponsors and exhibitors to be successful and to be happy today. Make them happy so this way we can have a continuation. The congratulations goes to you, because without you, we will not be able to have the Hermes Expo every year and grow from it. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, and I present to you Chris Christakis, the chairman of the U.S. Business Advisory Council. Thank you, Paul. Dear of the world, and congratulations to you, Paul and his associates for another successful event. Ladies and gentlemen, if you weren't there, the message is simple. Do anything you can to help 
the great economy, right now it needs it. And this is the forum that everything starts. As businessmen, participating in what you can, I also would like to invite you to the Pan-Macedonian Convention in Philadelphia at the end of May. It's sponsored by the local chapters. Thank you very much. I want to thank uh, the business uh, Russian council here, here Mr. Val Logan. Thank you very much for being with us. And I want to say, I want to thank also my friend Abu Jabarian from the Armenian community who is trying to build another corridor. Mr. Melisaratos is going to build another corridor within the Hermes Expo, like the Romanians are doing it. The Armenians are going to have their own pavilion within the Hermes Expo. This is certainly a great celebration uh, to push forward. This, this great occasion is to further entrench our strategic partnership between the Armenian and Greek people. So we are strategic partners and we need to bring a lot of goodness for our uh, common good, for our common good and interest. So uh, a pilgrimage for me to the sanctuary of cooperation and prosperity. Thank you. Okay, each hour on the hour we're going to be passing the microphone over and uh, going through all of the exhibits with the exhibitors and all of our honored guests as well as with all the you fine people. Uh, Father, I relinquish the it's your uh, hometown, it's your region, so your, you and uh, Mr. Melisaratos should be the, the ones that uh, they had the, the ribbon. Okay, along with the committee, Mr. Misakis, Mr. Marangos, uh, Dr. Iliadis, Mr. Pizzilas, Mr. Sianis, Mr. Fantasopoulos, man. Can we get a practice card? Okay, George. There you go. Okay. Ready? One. Put your hand on the ribbon. Two. Three. Uh, Bravo. 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 Okay, now we also have a proclamation. Uh, Mr. Kyle. Uh, well, I'll be brief. No, we're not going to do it in Greek, but no, we're this is from the Atlantic County Executive Office. Thank you again, sir, for being here for all the other My pleasure. It says, whereas Hermes Expo International was established in 1992 and continues to promote trade relations between Southeastern European countries, Eastern Mediterranean countries, and the United States by reaching out to over 2.5 million members of the Greek American community. Whereas the Hermes Expo International is a unique trade and business event that includes networking opportunities, wine tasting and Greek food, a dinner awards gala, a young professionals initiative, an education and healthcare symposium, in addition to a seminar on the Eurozone crisis and how it affects tourism on both sides of the Atlantic. And whereas the Hermes International mission is now more critical than ever to given the current world economy, attracting participants from around the globe and providing opportunity to create and foster international business relationships. And whereas this year's Army's International Expo will honor several individuals for their contribution to Hellenic American community. Ms. Carol Brooks, International Trade City of Philadelphia, Andy Ekanumu, CEO of Unifruti of America, Theros Dimas, Gold Medalist, Olympic Games, Dr. Miranos Ionis, scientist and philanthropist, Anastasios Maninis, Greek, excuse me, Pan Gregorians of Metro New York, exceptional Greek teachers, and Ephraim, and District 4 and 5, John Kahn and Sabas Tavisikos, as well as President Dr. John Grosimonadis from the Supreme Lodge. Whereas the 21st anniversary of the Hermes Expo International Business and Development Trade Show will officially open on Saturday, March 31st, 2012 at Trump Doctor Hall in Atlantic City. We now declare 21st Army's Expo International Day and call upon the citizens of Atlantic Canada to join in supporting an extraordinary effort that helps to strengthen our economy and improve relations between the participating countries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I think we should also give a round of applause to Mr. Kyle for saying those approximately 20 Greek names that he had to say. 
I think he is officially a lead and a full lead now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Uh, at this point in time, uh, we have uh, another uh, uh, honored guest. Uh, he's Dr. Elias Iliadis from the Hellenic Medical Society of, uh, of Philadelphia. He's a uh, resident uh, cardiologist at Cooper University Hospital. At Cooper University Hospital. And he's here at the Medical Society, and you will also be giving the presentation later on today. Is that right, Doctor? That's correct. That's correct, sir. Okay, what do you think of the Hermes episode, Doctor? George, this is an excellent opportunity for our community, both business and professional, to come together uh, to work together in, in developing uh, synergy, as my friend would say, among the different communities, among the different professions. We're so happy to be here. We have a series of presentations in the back beginning at 3 p.m. So uh, really focused on the community. So I implore everyone who's here to come back and hear about health topics relevant to our community. Thank you, George.